Today we're reviewing Airstream travel trailers that are under 4,000 pounds. So if you want an Airstream that's easy to tow, stick around and check them out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Airstream travel trailers that are under 4,000 pounds, so they're easy to tow. Hey, if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make lots of videos all about RVing and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of helpful articles all about RVing as well. Today though, we're taking a look at Airstream single axle travel trailers that weigh under 4,000 pounds. So without any further ado, let's get started with our review. Welcome to Base Camp. This is Airstream's Base Camp model. It's a 16 foot super small trailer that is extremely nice and it comes with a bathroom. It also comes with this whole entire tent area outside which, if you're camping with kids or friends come by, they can hang outside. And you can actually get a few people to sleep, maybe up to four, five people. Two people can sleep in here, everybody else can sleep out in the tent. Come on in, let's check it out. Oh, you're in. <laughs> so in the base camp, the front of the camper is where the kitchen area is. And this is just a really neat kind of kitchen. I mean, it's all rounded in the front, very nice appointments. I love the sink feature with the folding faucet. I just think that's a really neat use of space. Smart design, has a fold down so you can maximize your countertop space. Two burner stove, comes with a fridge. Does not have a separate freezer, but it has a little spot for ice trays. So that's not too bad. Also has this little compartment and kind of a neat little utensil drawer. Plenty of space underneath. Also has a microwave and more space below that for storage as well. They try to add all these little neat little storage things inside of the base camp. Like up top they have these hanging nets that you can store things in. I think they're pretty cool. And they also have them in the back of the RV as well. The other thing I like about this camper is it has a really nice size bed area and you can open the back up roll down the screen open up the side windows and have a really nice lot of airflow coming through the camper and of course to meet our criteria of one of the best small campers with a bathroom it has a bathroom it is a wet bath but in a 16 foot camper that's about what you're going to get but it's a very uh good size wet bath it certainly will do the job so here we are inside the Airstream Nest, and this is their only fiberglass model that they have. All the rest are aluminum. The Nest is about 16 feet long, and it comes in two different floor plans, but they're both 16 feet, and they both weigh around 3,300 pounds. The big difference between the two floor plans is the Nest that we're in currently, this area is always a bed, and the other Nest that they sell this is a U-shaped dinette with a table in the middle and it converts into a bed. In fact, in our video, Eight Small Campers with Bathrooms, we actually shot video of the other model of the nest with the U-shaped dinette. If you'd like to check that out, we'll put a link here above so you can go to that video and take a look at the other version of the nest. But in this particular model, this is always a bed, which I think a lot of people would really like because if this is always a bed, you don't have to make it and unmake it to be able to use your dinette. And I know for a lot of folks, they don't want to have to constantly make and unmake the bed and sheets and pillows out and all that stuff and then back and stored. So uh, this is a very convenient model in my opinion. And uh, instead of this area being the dinette, uh, you have a bench seat right here and there would be a table that comes up and across this way. So two people could sit here and eat dinner or lunch or whatever they want to do and this becomes your dinette right across from here we have the kitchen area and i'll just kind of start at the top up top we have some storage with these sliding doors that go across which i like they're very simple and they they work great then you have a single bowl sink and it comes with a cover which gives you some extra countertop space but it also doubles as a cutting board so that's a nice feature also in here we have a two burner 
propane stove. And then down below, plenty of storage space, nice deep cabinetry. And these drawers are full extension as well. And then you have a spot in here for all of your kitchen cutlery and utensils. So as we move towards the back of the nest and across from the kitchen sink and all that, you have your refrigerator located here. Good size little fridge. And then you have a little freezer section as well. A little too small for me. I like to keep a lot of ice on board for the mixed drinks. So I might have a problem with this freezer. But anyway, that's just me. Below your refrigerator, you have a microwave. And then below that, you have some controls for all of your electricity. So right by the back door and across from the bathroom, you have a big closet that can be used as a wardrobe closet or just any kind of storage at all. It has a hanging bar up top, plenty of room down below, so you can store a lot of things in there. And then across from that is the wet bath. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we are inside the Nest wet bath. To the right of me, you have your shower head, mirror, shower control. To the left of me, you have your toilet. And then down below here, it's kind of an interesting spot for a medicine cabinet and then inside of here that's where your toilet paper roll would be and it's got a cover on it to keep it dry and then of course your medicine cabinet door kind of double protection inside of here so not a bad size wet bath at all uh, the ceiling height in here is actually pretty good i'm 5 11 and i've got about five inches of space over my head so decent size wet bath inside the nest this Airstream travel trailer is the Bambi model and it's a 22 footer. This uh, particular Bambi series actually has four different floor plans that range from 16 feet to 22 feet. And the 16 footers weigh around 3,500 pounds. The 22 footers weigh about 5,000 pounds empty. And then you can load your stuff in there on top of all that. Uh, but we like this particular 22 foot floor plan the best and we'll show you why as we work our way through this travel trailer. But right now I'm sort of in the kitchen and living area of this Bambi 22 footer and I like the kitchen here. It's a nice inline kitchen layout, um, good size kitchen sink. It's a double bowl sink. It's got a standard residential faucet on here. I think I would like to have a gooseneck better, but hey, this works just the same. Um, and then you have a two burner propane stove with the microwave oven located down below it. There's also storage underneath the kitchen sink and underneath the microwave as well. And there's no real drawer for kitchen knives and stuff, but they have a little drawer built in here, but it's really difficult to get out because the plumbing pipes in the way. It's kind of a kind of an odd setup. You have to put it in at the right angle. But anyway, not a terrible setup altogether. Then you have more storage over top. And I, I like these doors, you know, they're just very simple, but they're never gonna break. You don't have to worry about latches breaking or anything like that. And it just, it just works and it always will. Um, moving over in the kitchen area, it's got a small refrigerator in here and there's no separate freezer, but it does have a place up top for ice trays. So right across from the kitchen, you have this Nice U-shaped dinette, which also converts into a bed. It's a good size dinette. The table moves and swivels all different directions, so you can make the most of that area as well. And then at the front end of the camper, it's got a queen size bed, some storage over top, and there's a little more storage at one end of the bed as well. It sort of tucks down beside it. When you first walk inside the Bambi, there's a little space right here on the floor where you can kick your shoes underneath the, the dinette bench. So good little uh, storage spot there. And straight ahead, you've got this big gigantic wardrobe closet. So it's got a shelf on top and then it's got plenty of room underneath with a bar to hang, clothes, jackets, all that fun stuff. So uh, pretty good setup. Now this is our favorite part of the Bambi model and that is at the rear of this trailer is the bathroom and it's a really really great size bathroom i mean it's the whole width of the trailer i'll hop in the shower here so inside this shower there's plenty of elbow room in here i mean i can move all around be very easy to take a shower headroom wise i'm 5'11 
if you're six feet or taller, you know, it'll be a little bit tight in here for you. But what I really like is that this fiberglass goes all the way around to the ceiling, all the way down to the floor. It's really maintenance free and easy to take care of. There's a little seat here at the back end of the shower. So just a nice, really nice setup for the shower back here. Now we'll take a look at the vanity and the commode area. So the rest of the bathroom is really big as well. I mean, I'm sitting here on the commode, plenty of elbow room. Uh, you have a nice sized vanity top and cabinet space down below. So plenty of storage space there. Your TP holder is actually inside the cabinet door. That's a great spot for it. And then you have storage off to the right hand side. You can keep your toilet chemicals, toilet paper, or whatnot under here. Uh, so all in all, a really good sized bathroom. Now, it also has a window here in the bathroom, which is a little bit unusual. And then there's no mirror here, but it has this fold out mirror. So you can take advantage of that. And take a look at yourself in the morning or in my case, not. Here we are inside the Airstream Caravel. This is the 16 RB model, which means it's 16 feet long and it weighs in at about 3,200 pounds. There are four different floor plans that you can get with the Caravel and they range from 16 feet at 3,200 pounds, which is what we're in, up to 22 feet and right around 4,200 pounds. So a wide variety to choose from and uh, I'm sure you can find a floor plan that you'll like. This particular one is the smallest one, but it's a very efficient travel trailer. When you first walk in from the door outside, you've got your dinette area and this dinette will also convert into a bed. I think that two could, kids could sleep here, you know, really pretty easily, uh, two smaller kids anyway. And you know, you've got plenty of storage up top as well. The kitchen area in the Caravel is very compact but efficient as well. You've got some storage space above. I really like these sliding doors. They're very easy and convenient to operate. Nice range hood, two burner propane stove, you know, decent size but not very deep single bowl sink. And then below your stove top, you have your refrigerator and then you also have your microwave down below as well. So here I am inside the wet bath shower of the Caravel model. Uh, again, I'm about 5'11". There's, you know, maybe an inch of space above my head. Um, inside the shower, though, there is a medicine cabinet, which is here, which is kind of nice. Nice to have that space. And then also a couple of windows in here. And then the toilet paper roll is in here, but it has a cover to keep it nice and dry while you're taking a shower. Towards the back end of the Caravel, we have the bedroom area. Now, there's a nice little curtain here, which just creates a little separation from the living area and the bathroom and bedroom area. There's a wardrobe cabinet here. It's pretty deep, has a nice hanging bar above, little shelf down below, so you can store things in here. And then the bed area, I would call it a little less than a queen size bed, and of course, you have a little storage above as well. Let us know which Airstream floor plan you like the best in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what you think, and we hope you enjoy checking out these Airstreams. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other YouTube videos, just click right here on one of these videos and you can check them out. Remember to subscribe to our channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we release a brand new YouTube video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.